Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about syntax error handling in compiler design. In the previous session, we have discussed about role of parser. So, the two main functions of the parser is, first, it will check whether the token stream is according to the syntactical structure. If so, it will construct the parse tree. Second, suppose, if the token stream is not according to the syntactical structure, then there may be errors present in the source code. So the function of the parser is to deduct those syntax errors and it should be reported to the user. It will also implement a recovery strategy to rectify from those errors. The process of error reporting and error recovery as a continuous logical entity in syntax analyzer is called error handling. Whenever the parser is deducting the syntax error and reported to the user, it should add some additional information along with the error message like the what type of error it is, which line the error presents. So, this information helps the user to correct the error easily. The error handling is a continuous process that is in the source program each and every line the parser has to check for the syntax error. If the error is there, the parser has to deduct and correct those errors until the complete source program is error free. The important goals or functions of the error handler is whenever it is reporting the error, it should report the error clearly and accurately so that it will provide proper knowledge to the user about that particular error to correct it. Also, whenever it is deducting the error, it will try to recover from that error quickly because that particular error may lead to subsequent errors. So, if you are correcting that particular error, even the subsequent errors will also get rectified. So, as soon as possible, try to deduct and correct the error quickly. And this process of error handling should not overburden the parser. It should add minimal overhead to the process of error handling. If you are considering a program, there are different levels of errors as possible. So, one is lexical error, syntax error, semantic error and logical error. First is lexical error. The error raised during the lexical analysis phase is called the lexical error. The lexical analyzer will group the lexeme and that lexeme should be converted to tokens. When there is a difficulty that particular lexeme cannot be able to convert it to token means there may be errors present in the lexeme. These errors are called the lexical errors. So, these lexical errors are normally single character error, either the addition of extra character or the deletion of a character from the keyword identifiers operators likewise. Normally, lexical errors falls within a single character error. These errors are easy to correct it. So, that is those who are having a good programming knowledge, they can able to identify and correct the error easily. For example, if you are considering misspelled keywords, identifiers, operators will raise to lexical errors. That is any addition of a new character along with the keywords, identifiers, operators or the deletion of a character from these keywords, identifiers or operators will lead to lexical errors. Missing string codes. So normally if you are considering the string codes will be specified within double codes. So if you are missing this opening code or closing code that will raise to lexical error. Next up, illegal characters. Illegal characters are nothing but the characters not recognized by the specific programming language. So, the accidental insertion of any illegal characters into the source code will raise to lexical error. For example, at dollar sign. So, if you are considering these and all illegal characters, if you have added accidentally these characters into the source code, that will raise to the lexical errors. The error raised during the syntax analysis phase is called the syntax error. The syntax represents the structure of the programming language. The error raised due to the structure formation or invalid statement present in the source code means the syntax error will be raised. The lexical analyzer will generate the tokens and these tokens is given as an input to the syntax analysis phase. The syntax analyzer will check these tokens whether it is according to the grammatical rules. Suppose, if it fails, if the token is not according to the grammatical rules, syntax error will be raised. These syntax errors does not allow program compilation and does not allow the program to execute. For example, missing parenthesis. Wherever you are using the parenthesis, braces and brackets, it should occur only in pairs. Suppose if opening parenthesis is there in the sense, closed parenthesis should be there. 
if you are missing the closed parenthesis the automatically the syntax error will be raised next missing semicolon in c program if you are considering almost all the statements will end with a semicolon suppose if you missed the semicolon in the statement the syntax error will be raised for example x is equal to y plus z so after z we have to specify a semicolon here suppose if you forget to specify the semicolon the syntax error will be raised next undeclared variable in programming language if you want to use a variable that variable should be declared in the declaration section suppose if you have used the variable in the program but forgot to declare means the syntax error will be raised next incorrect format of looping and selection statements these looping and selection statements will have a syntax rule if it is not according to the syntax rule the syntax error will be raised the errors recognized during the semantic analysis phase is called the semantic errors these errors will violate the meaning of the program statement or incorrect code that is the semantic errors or syntactically correct that is it is according to the grammatical rules but the intended meaning of the particular statement is not correct it does not work properly these semantic errors are difficult to detect and correct it so if you are considering this example we have declared two variables that is a and b so b is a integer variable a is a array variable that holds the integer value suppose if you are trying to assign this variable b to to an array variable this will raise to incompatible error also a plus b equal to c if you are considering this statement the left hand side should contain only a variable and right hand side only expression should be there here there is an expression in the left hand side so this will raise to incompatible error next type mismatch error for example here we have declared a is a integer variable b is a floating point variable and c is a double variable and if you want to perform the operation c is equal to a plus b so these three variables will hold three different data types so here type mismatch error will be raised next dangling else for example if you are considering this if statement so if the first if condition is true the second if condition has to execute and if this if condition is false it has to go to this else part suppose if you missed this closing brace here this else will be compatible to this if statement it will match with the wrong if statement so this will leads to the dangling else next array index bound so here we have declared an array with size 3 that is 0 1 and 2 but we are trying to assign a value to the fifth memory location so this will raise to the array index bound error this is a kind of semantic error next logical errors these logical errors will not be raised during the program compilation that is the program is completely error free but there will be a logical mistake these logical errors are difficult to detect by the compiler it will allow the program to run but the result we won't get the proper result these logical errors will be rectified by verifying the logical path of the program so that the programmer should have a complete programming knowledge or the logical knowledge of that particular program then only we can able to correct this logical error this logical error is a type of run time error for example incorrect reasoning when you are trying to divide a value 0 by 4 so this will raise to logical error and if you are using a if statement if you wanted to check a value whether x is equal to 1 so you have to use this double equal sign suppose if we have used only one equal sign this will raise to the incorrect reason this step indefinite recursive call that is if recursive call is nothing but a function calling by itself suppose in a program the function is calling by itself continuously without any termination point then it will leads to a indefinite recursive call so this kind of error will raise to the logical error same way infinite loops that is the, there is no proper termination condition to terminate this particular loop means the loops will execute infinitely so these kind of infinite loop errors also will raise to logical error and these errors will be identified only during the run time next null reference suppose if you are using a variable and that variable is referring to a null pointer this will raise to the logical error these are all the different programming errors in different levels
In the next session, we will discuss the error recovery strategy in syntax analysis. Thank you for watching this video.